you for visiting us today. Just a few reminders. Face coverings must fully cover your nose and mouth and be worn at all times, except for Uh, 
You'll notice all these animals have come together to celebrate the holidays in harmony. Uh, we even have that pride of lions that set aside their differences to invite a zebra over for dinner. And man, does he look dead. He's tired. Dead tired. He's just taking a nap. We're going to let him rest in peace. And moving on. Uh, you guys have all heard of the North Pole, correct? Yep, so this right here is in fact not the North Pole. I know, I was pretty surprised by that as well. This is actually, there's a rider chasing after us, and it's quite the first thing we see before we get trampled. And that's why you never give a rhino a fruit cake. But what a rhino. After 87 years of doing this. Here and uh, up ahead, you're going to see something pretty monumental to Jingle Cruise history. You're going to see these glacier mountains. So every year, Spicer Fall does freeze into a beautiful frozen glacier. Virtual top of the right behind me. Oh my goodness, it's melting! <laughs> Would you look at that? Glacier mountains melting. That's really, really nice. Uh, I guess we can't deny that it's been a warm winter now, huh? Don't worry if you miss it, though. As a special holiday treat, I'll make sure we go over it later. the boat. 
just because you got socks for Christmas, I'm so ungrateful. We talked about this. George, oh, you're a big duck, 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 duck. Good. I always like that one because nobody believes me, but they believe me just a little bit. And you know what? I think that makes it the ultimate prank. So you're welcome. Happy holidays. Now if you look over here on the left hand side, you're going to see Trader Sam. He is our head salesman of Jungle. And he has a pretty fantastic holiday deal going on. It's going to be two of his heads for just one of your heads. I'd say that's a killer deal, you know? Either way, you slice the dice and you come out ahead of the deal. Anyways, this has been a lot of fun. Uh, I'd like to say if you laughed today, thanks for laughing. Uh, if you did not laugh today, thanks for leaving. It's been awkward. Just kidding. <laughs> Out of all of my cruises, you guys have definitely been one of them. Uh, I'd go as far to say that you've been the most recent. So uh, thank you for being on time. You know, because... If you hadn't been on time this afternoon, we wouldn't have laughed together. We wouldn't have cried together. We wouldn't have almost died together. And most importantly, I wouldn't have had the honest and goodness pleasure of you guys staring at me in silence for 12 more minutes. Because, you know, that'd be the truest of shame. How would I go on with my day, you know? It'd be really unfortunate. And uh, I think that's just pretty beautiful, this whole situation. So, uh, you know, since you guys are so beautiful, I do ask you to remain seated, keeping all hands, arms, feet, legs inside the boat. When we're exiting the boat, don't cross over the crate. It's not a crate idea. I crossed over once and gave me a really bad case of mistletoe. You know, it blew the shoes clean off my feet. But I didn't have shoes for two whole months, so if that's what you want, if you don't want to have shoes, then cross over the crate, by all means. But as they say, get out. <laughs> I meant please, get out. Oh, pity applause, my co-workers. Usher and Steph, use the handrails. Bye-bye, guys. I see you passing by the table.